uh, from Connecticut for her hard work and her dedication to moving our nation forward uh, in the area of agriculture, nutrition, health, safety, and all the other issues uh, that she tackles each and every day. Uh, this bill is going to help millions of Americans, and I am pleased to support it. I rise today to enter into a colloquy to raise the important issue regarding the lifetime ban on food stamp eligibility for formerly incarcerated persons who were convicted of drug offenses. This is really a serious moral and ethical issue of concern to myself and many members of the Congressional Black Caucus. Our Constitution provides the appropriate groundwork for this issue in Article 1, Section 10, and the Fifth Amendment by declaring that individuals individuals are not to be subject to double jeopardy or to be subject to ex post facto laws. After offenders have served their time, Mr. Chairman, the formerly incarcerated re-enter society looking to improve themselves and their lives. As a society, this is what we want to support, to reduce recidivism and reduce crime. However, the current policy prevents them access to food stamps. Food stamps and cash support are essential to the health and stability of families. Individuals with criminal convictions face considerable barriers, often needing transitional services and support to improve their ability to acquire gainful employment and transition after incarceration. Excuse me, the Personal Responsibility and Work Opportunity Reconciliation Act prohibits anyone convicted of a drug-related felony from receiving both federally funded cash assistance through the time has May I have an additional 30 seconds? I yield the additional 30 the seconds to the general lady. Thank you very much. The point I wanted to make is that the Welfare Reform Act prevents anyone and only those who were formally convicted of drug felonies from ever receiving cash assistance and food stamps, even after completing their sentence and overcoming an addiction. And so I've worked with the authorizing committee, introduced 5802, and I wanted to talk to the gentlelady tonight about this very important issue. Uh, I hope that sooner or later we can really repeal this ban because it is a barrier for those who have re-entered society. They deserve to be able to be eligible for food stamps. Time has uh, Mr. Chairman, I give myself 15 minutes. I want to assure the 15 seconds. <laughs> Thank Jelly's you. Regular. Wouldn't that be great? 15. Uh, I assure the gentlewoman that we will work together to correct the inequity that has been in place since the 1996 welfare reform bill. I agree with you. Time has come to address this issue in a meaningful way. We are talking about individuals who have paid their debt to society. They should be given a new opportunity uh, to make a new life, to provide food assistance for themselves and their families. It's the right thing to do. Jelly's time has expired. The Thank gentleman from Georgia much. continues Thank to reserve.